Every girl grew up dreaming about that big wedding where they can be that princess they always see on Disney, in the movies, and some celebrities being. In today's video, a Jamaican woman was about to live out that dream but everything turned for the worse and even became a living nightmare. Yow, what's up my people, welcome back to Basic Principles YouTube channel. The channel that provides you with interesting stories out of Jamaica and around the world for your entertainment. You know the ropes already, please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video as we post videos daily. It might not seem much but it will really help out the channel a lot. We appreciate the support. Let's jump into the story, the letter to the pastor reads. Dear Pastor, I am a Jamaican who is living in the United States of America. I am presently on vacation in Jamaica. I have been engaged to a Jamaican man, who has promised to marry me. Now that I am in Jamaica making preparation for our wedding, I have found out that one of my cousins is carrying his child. I did not even know that they had a love affair going, and this girl has benefited from my generosity a lot since I began living in the United States. I have sent her lots of clothes. She has two children and I send barrels to Jamaica with goodies and clothes for the children. My boyfriend was responsible for clearing these barrels. I never thought he would stoop so low by going to bed with her. Now he is telling me that it was a mistake, and that anybody can make a mistake. I wasn't expecting him to make that type of mistake. This girl was trying to hide from me when I first came back, but by the time I saw her, I knew she was pregnant. Other cousins have told me it was for my boyfriend. He admitted that he went to bed with her. I asked her mother if she knew that her daughter and my boyfriend were having a relationship and she said no. My boyfriend told me that my cousin was always asking him for money. She told him that she was taking the pill, but he did not know that she was lying. I have called off the wedding. I'm going to leave him right here in Jamaica with his new baby mother. I have been saving my money abroad for us to move into a better area. Think about it, guys have always said to me that they like me, and whenever I told them that I have a boyfriend in Jamaica, they told me that I can't be sure what he is doing. They said that he might be cheating on me. However, I have never yielded to them. Now I have to look around elsewhere. I know what to do, because I called a friend and told him my situation and he said I should come back right away and he would be ready for me. I grew up in a stable home. I have only had a couple of boyfriends. I did not run around. I'm changing my flight and going back to New York. I told my cousin who is pregnant for my boyfriend, to make sure she takes good care of him. I will still send things for her occasionally. Pastor, would you approve of what I am doing? CL Dear CL It might have been hard on your boyfriend of five years to wait on you. But even if he wanted to get involved with another woman, he should have avoided your cousin. He has no standard, and neither does she. Your cousin knows that you have been good to her in every way. Not only have you helped her, but you have also assisted her children. You have made your decision. Some people might not agree with you, others would support you. You did not say what work you do. It is not going to be easy for you to adjust to your life, but already, another male friend of yours is ready to have you. Your boyfriend, who has got this woman pregnant, has released you from any commitment made. The wedding is off, but I must warn you that although another man is ready to have you, don't hurriedly get into another relationship. Even before you go out on casual dates, get some help from a psychologist, and please write to me again. Pasta. Guys, I don't know about you but I do not think I could continue to help a family member who has betrayed me like how that cousin did to the writer. How can someone be so cruel? Well, that is human nature for you guys. Let me know if you ever find yourself in a similar position like this writer and how you handled it. Also, what are your thoughts on this story? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Let's check out the comments. One person said, Madam, haven't you heard about those wild men in Jamaica who love to play the poor man sport? It is better you find a man in America than to have stress and headache trying to get that coconut to America. He would come here and do the same nonsense. You see the mindset of this girl, 
having yet another child and she cannot even take care of herself. Shameless gal. You are under no obligation to assist those people. Let her find a job and she will not have time to do idle sex. Someone else added. Consider yourself lucky. The only thing you got was heartbreak, but you will recover, I can assure you of this. My only advice to you is to seek therapy, so you don't carry this over to your next slash future relationship, because it will destroy you. Vernal chimed in. Madam, count your lucky stars the scales were removed from your eyes. I wish you a safe trip home. Marg Walk dropped his two cents. Your cousin and the man are evil. I agree with Pastor that even if he went with someone, it should not have been your relative. You have a good heart because I would be finished with her. Take care of yourself, get counseling and don't rush into a new relationship. Good luck. Glad you still have your money. You're going to be okay. Someone else said. Be careful you fall for the fellow on the rebound. Pastor Aaron is correct, allow some time to pass before committing to anyone. Mike B added. You still have a good heart towards your cousin despite her deception. I commend you truthfully on that. I wouldn't encourage you to jump into another relationship just yet. Take time to regroup and to make yourself even better first. The Bismarck also left a comment. Messed up man. Wow. Gunnar 4 Life 7 also added. I know what to do, because I called a friend and told him my situation and he said I should come back right away and he would be ready for me. Like I always say, every woman has a backup plan. Men, she's never yours, it was just your turn until your time's up. Save your money and live well to protect yourselves at all times. And the last comment we will be looking at comes from Mary. LOL Pastor seems to have more than a passing interest here. There is a popular verse from a Jamaican artist's song that goes like this, Man cheat, but woman cheat too, we mess around with the wrong people. If man a wicked then, woman a evil. Call a spade a spade, to a we evil. This verse is a perfect depiction of what human nature is. This man had a good woman in America and while I cannot pretend that a long distance relationship is easy, this man not only got with his lady's cousin but got her pregnant. There is no coming back from that. I know Jamaican men are good with words and Jamaican men are blessed with a good D game that ladies all over the world like to play with, but no sweet words can put CL back in a trance unless she is in love with the D game because women go crazy when a man put it on them good. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, catch you in the next one, love.